Welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again, and I did just unlock Tainted Jacob, but honestly, I can't, I can't put myself through playing Tainted Jacob quite yet, just because our streak is so just spicy right now. I feel like it would be a bad idea to go ahead with that. Uh, so, hmm, who should we play as instead? We've got some modded characters I could go through and play. Uh, we've got regular Kane, regular Isaac to do some stuff, regular Maggie to do some stuff. It's hard to know. There's a lot of to go out. I haven't played Golem in a while. I do love a bit of Golem, but I, I'm trying to focus on some of the vanilla characters at the moment. Maybe we'll do a Keeper run. Keeper sounds fun. I could use my randomizer, but my randomizer seems to be not working anymore. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, it looks like the, the website that the uh, randomizer is like regularly hosted on is like not working or something. Um, which is a real shame. I was like, why didn't that guy drop a penny then? I'm like, this isn't Tainted Keeper, you fool. Oh, that was such a bad hit. Okay, so obviously, um, the streak isn't exactly super safe in the hands of the Keeper, but I trust myself enough to not completely shit the bed as the Keeper, so let's, uh, let's just keep this going and hope for the best, shall we? We shall see how we'll do. Um, if only my spacebar item would actually give me a, um, a penny. That'd be real nice. Because at the minute, no bueno on the pennies. No bueno on the pennies. Okay, there you go. We got one left over back there as well. What do these guys do again? These guys the shockwave ones? Yes, they are. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Oh, thank you. Now that, I can definitely deal with. As for the question of the day today, I always feel like I've got a theme around the character, so I feel like I've got to do like a money-themed one. Um... It's not too bad. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh. If you were to win the lottery, what would you do with the money? Like, and I mean like big lottery. I, I don't mean like like a million. I mean like the jackpot sort of thing. Also, by the way, we just got an absolutely fantastic item here. Um, the slick spade, I think it's called. Really, really, really good, especially as the Keeper, because we can spawn Midas Touch shots that will turn enemies into uh, gold and produce more money for us, so enhance survivability potential. Now, obviously, the chances of getting a specific type of um, spared shot is random. Like, you, you're never going to get always the one that you want, but it helps. Uh, we got an Ember card as well. I might just pop that on the next floor. Um, and let's get the hell out of here. I mean, I guess I could check my shop just real quick to see anything great and see if I want to blow up my donation machine. But yeah, at the minute, I'm really sort of focused on trying to keep my streak alive. That's a pretty good active, to be honest. Um, although it doesn't really help us, actually. Um, do you know what? I'm going to blow it up anyways. This character benefits quite a lot from having a lot of money. Um, interesting that that is what opens up this, which I wasn't expecting. Christmas cracker, spawn an empty battery, thank you. Do you know what? This was pretty lucrative. I'm pretty happy with how this went. Uh, I didn't get quite as much money as I was hoping for, but enough to make it worthwhile coming onto the next floors. And let's just go and see what we can do here. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. I already do not like this as a room. This seems like it's going to be real annoying, especially once he enters phase two. Eh, we should be okay. We should be okay. It's it's very much ring around the rosy sort of thing. I spawned my penny in a de decently good location there. It's actually appearing that it's kind of helping us. Because I don't know if you noticed, but the little ghost of spectral shots. Spectral shots cannot pass through um, these bounty mushrooms for some reason. Kind of strange, but kind of useful. Uh, we get ourselves the magic eight ball. And we get ourselves a skip card, which... Is, is skip card allowed to skip a phase? Yes, it can. We've already done Mega Satan. Um, I think we're just going to go Dark Path here, so I don't think we actually need the skip card, which seems a little odd to just leave it behind, but I'm going to do it anyways. We could also do Mother, I suppose. Let's go Let's go this way first and see if we want to do a Mother run. I guess we'll see what we get. I'm also kind of tempted to skip an item room at some point for our chance, extra chance at Planetarium, considering we already have the, the base 15% off, so I say 16% chance... Oh my god. Do not like. Can I kill you? I can. Oh god. The rain cloud is stepping into the limelight. Do not like it. But yeah, I think luck does affect Slick Spade. 
So we'd be hoping that we can get um, luck upgrades here and there. You do not interest me at all. Still, with that guy requiring keys to play, just not not something I'd ever really want to play, I'll be honest. Hey, managed to bleed that ghost and he moved at such a large distance in one go that the bleed just insta-killed him. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. See, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about right there. Getting that extra money here and there. It's not a lot, but it could happen in a room where we've already been hit or where we just really need some extra HP. And it could kind of change the outcome of how things are going to go for us, which is real nice. Don't particularly like how you set yourself up, Mr. Sir. And Eternal D10 is Eternal. Um, and Book of Lucifer. Shame with the double active. That would have been the... Um, would have been the obvious choice for item room to skip, but we can't always get so lucky. Feared that guy. Good, good. Insta-kills there. We've actually got enough money for the shop now. But remember, devil deals with this guy cost money, which is one of the big reasons I um, took advantage of the bombing the donation machine, because I knew we'd need money for that coming up. So we've now actually got some money for that. Um, of course, going with 30 is ideal, because then you can either buy two deals or a double price deal. Don't think we're going to end up getting that amount here. Uh, that would kind of shock me if we did. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best to get there. Good. I'm hoping that I can just uh, turn a few more of these guys into, into money. Fortunately, we just missed two, uh, two diamonds there, which would have helped us out. A really good item though, Slick Spade, in terms of like, I just, I like the theming of it and everything, it's, it's, it's cool. Right, so check out our shop in case there's something amazing in here. Um, shop items can be purchased even for unaffordable, in, even if unaffordable, deck gives multiple, oh yeah, okay, this is incredible. This is incredible. So, we get the credit card here, which allows us to steal devil deals. We also get that, and we can open these up once again, because we got the same shop as last time. So we're back on it on the key game. Um... And I'm going to quickly go back and blow up our blood donation machine to hope we get an extra penny here. Uh, but this is pretty good because it means now if we get some... Oh, actually. Secret room's rather plausible to be here. I'd rather check that out. Yeah. Um, We definitely want the damage up. Lovely. Only a very small amount of damage, but every little helps. But yeah, okay. I'm pretty happy with this now. Um, Credit card gives us devil deal steal if we want it. If we If we can manage that. Um, we put ourselves in a good position, like, even if we, uh, can't steal or whatever. Oh, this guy could kill us. Um, I'm, oh, god damn it. I was gonna say, I'm gonna hope not and hopefully we'll get a penny there. Sadly not. This guy is a boss that really, really messes me up at the best of times. Oh, bit, well, I say that. All the Fiendfolia bosses mess me up at the best of times. Luckily, we keep bleeding him, which is incredibly good for a boss that's so active. We did take some damage there, but yeah, boss is so active that helps us out a ton, actually. We get ourselves... Ooh, amazing. Um, let me come in here. And unfortunately, is it even worth credit carding this? We didn't even get enough to buy this either. Oh, wait, we, we bought it with the debt. That's fine. Okay, I'll take that. It's not great. I'm not very happy with that devil deal, but eh. We're at minus one on, in terms of our debt right now. Multiplicative stats down, so we'll get out of debt pretty quickly and get our stats back. Um, it just kind of is what it is. I'm just hoping that when we're in debt, it doesn't um, stop us from... Oh, hello. We finally got one of these nightmare things. It doesn't stop us from uh, healing, but it didn't. Good, good. Our, our luck with our wooden nickel right now has been pretty goddamn awful. Pretty goddamn awful. But it is what it is. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Having one of these little nightmare spawns when we get hit. It's pretty nice. They, they persist through rooms, which is good, at least. They don't do a whole hell of a lot, but if you can manage to get a few of them stacked up, they can start becoming a pretty good part of the run. But we'll see if that happens. Interesting room here. I really hate the fact that I keep accidentally hitting the middle guy because when they're swarming around you, they're way more of a threat. 
Good. A. Hey, there's a bit of money. Lovely. So we're properly out of debt now. Nice. Really ought to be using my active a little more often here. I'm not using it every opportunity I get, and that's stupid. I shouldn't really pick up all the pennies either, to be honest. I should be leaving them on the ground in case I need them later on, but I don't know. I just wanted them. Right. Item room we have not seen as of yet. Let's try and find that, shall we? That shop. But a nightmare thing died already. See, see what I mean? They're not, like, they're not particularly good. I guess we've got a credit card. We should at least check out the shop. I'm actually going to take that. Like, like, I know Devil Deal's potentially more valuable, but I think that could be pretty darn good. Um, getting double bombs from now on is just really, really nice. And getting the the options to, to pick means that we could get a lot more money, um, all that sort of good stuff. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, that was a little bit of flaming horseshit right there. But I hate this enemy. Dude, how am I meant to hit you properly? I, I, I don't understand. Okay, good. You just go away when the room ends. God damn, my space bar. Please would nickel. Actually give me a nickel. Oh, dude. Let's not die, shall we? Oh, dude. My wooden nickel is just not... It's not being nice to me at all right now. At least that healed me one. It's not been nice to me at all. My character is looking rather insane right now. Right. We don't have enough for a devil deal if we get one, so we'd have to take a stats down to take it. But depending on what it is, I probably would take the stats down. So I don't mind too much. Worm would, I will use a, bo uh, a bomb for combat here. Now that was an insanely quick bit of damage there. Holy hell. Trying to use the creep here to kill him, but it might not work. Yeah, it works. Nice one. No devil deal, unfortunately. We did get some good stuff there, and we'll go down to the next floor. Again, wooden nickel, 50-50 chance. At the minute, we're probably, like, four successes for about 20 negatives. So, not doing too well on that front. Oh my god, dude. I am really not having a good time of it in terms of uh, trying to stay alive here. <laughs> I want to keep my streak alive, but the game, the wooden nickel is just savage right now. It just will not say yes to me. Constantly giving me a big fat no. Well, look at this. How many times do you want to fail me? There you go. <laughs> that worked. Yeah, how many times do you want to fail me, wooden nickel? Because it's, it's getting a little ridiculous. Hopefully we don't get too many more active spawning either. My nightmare thing doing its job. Working its business. I like it. Sadly, not too many procs of our active. I suppose having low fire rate, that's kind of what we get. Gotta remember that the, the uh, things that spawn at the end of rumors are now a choice. Oh, there we go. We turned this guy to gold. I was going to say we're not going to be able to finish him in time, are we? This, we definitely want the locust. That's kind of a crazy get there. A huge, huge bit of DPS increase. The Locust sounds crazy strong, but like every single room getting that is pretty awesome. Good. Ah, my nightmare die. The, the nightmares kind of die very quickly. For, for what is a quality two item? I would say that I'm not particularly impressed. 50% chance to get a nightmare. Which, uh, as, as we've clearly shown already, 50% chances are not working in our favour right now. Um, <laughs> which isn't really the item's fault, but the nightmares seem very weak. Okay, this is a bit of a horrible room. Actually, really nice that you got that guy charmed there. That should do some good damage for us. Use, um, use the blood from Headless Baby. Works out pretty well. I'm going to open this up. Ah, oh, really? Just one pill? Range up, look down. Okay, our luck is... Maybe that's why um, we've not had such good uh, luck with the spade right now, because we're just getting unlucky with our, um, our procs. Can we get this guy to go straight into this? 
Not quite. This is a really, really rough version of this guy. I didn't even hit him. Great. Yeah, this this version of this guy, uh, this this champion version, by far the one of the worst champions in the entire game. I think. Really, really difficult. He has uh, some widespreading attacks that do a lot. But luckily, we made it through. Um, we get ourselves Golem's Orb, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Um, and then Devil Deals. We're going to put ourselves in a hell of a lot of debt here, but I'm going to take both. Scorch Earth is fine. And Torn Wings. I can't remember what Torn Wings does. Hmm. Torn Wings is like, isn't, I think, it's, isn't it like a 50% chance for any enemy to spawn as a devil deal? Um, and items that spawn, and like items that give you flight no longer give you flight. Some, something along those lines, I think. As you can see, our little wisps here we gain from fires. I think all rocks now have a chance to be replaced by fires. And we gain uh, these little wisps that do various different things based on the type of fire. Um, obviously these rocks have already generated, so they're not going to spawn anything, but stuff like this, look. Only thing is, as you can clearly see, there is a little bit of an annoyance in that it can sometimes spawn purple fires instead of a rock in rooms that wouldn't normally have purple fires. That can really, really cause some problems in some rooms. Most rooms it's just like a mild inconvenience like this one, but other rooms, like, that clearly aren't designed for it, it can, it can cause some really big problems, so we've just got to Deal with them as they come, I suppose. Mystery Sack. Not bad, not bad. A lot of uh, potential consumable gain here. I'm going to check the shop again, just in case there's like a humbling bundle. Uh, oh, we, we wouldn't know, would we? We wouldn't know. Um, I'll bomb you, at least. And I forget what this does. Ah, oh, god damn it. Let me bomb this. That's oh, just another, another skip card. Heals us up, nice. Okay, I guess we'll carry the skip card for now, then, now that we've got it in our hand. And we will head on out, shall we? I mean, no, to be fair, I should check my other rooms, because we do have a 16% chance of planetarium. That's not that low. It's plausible that we could have a planetarium hiding in one of these rooms, and I could miss it. Also, could end up getting a little bit extra here. Oh, dude, come on now. Kind of rude. Dude, my wooden nickel look right now is abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Clearing a room for a chance to turn the player into Azazel. Don't think that really matters to us, because the Azazel lasers will be really low charge rate, because we've got triple shot, and it won't give us flight, because we have an item that prevents us getting flight, so... Not that great. Oh, hello. Glad we explored. Glad we explored. We got the Stephen Floor. We got the Stephen Floor. Um. Hello? One second. One second. I'm just gonna check something. Oh, I got a cat spell. I'm just asking the Discord if it's broken. Okay, I'll, I've, I've put a message in the chat. We'll see what happens. But yeah, this guy will not let me in his. Oh no, where there you go. Okay, just his dialogue's broken, I guess. Okay. We are here. Right. You want my mysterious sack? Oh, wait. I see, I see. You can have it. Number two? Hell yes, number two is amazing. If you don't like number two, you are a fool. And then you want bloody baby... You can have Bloody Baby. I'll trade it. And we get... 
Ah, uh, come on. You can't be giving, an, giving me an active item for that. You want number two. No, thank you. Apparently, if I bomb these guys... Ah. Uh, people have lied to me. Someone said, oh, bomb them, and they'll, tr they'll change the trade they offer you. No, they don't. <laughs> that was a lie. But yeah, I'm, I ain't getting rid of number two anyway, so that's fine. What's, what's going on in this room, exactly? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm very confused. These these enemies don't seem to want to die. Do, they, do these guys not die? What, what's happening here? Okay, no, they just have like a, a timer before they can actually fully die, I see. A little bit of a shame to, to, to lose an item and it give you an active. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Whoa, that enemy's cool. Yeah, I don't really think that should be a thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to take this item from you. And it's like, actually, I'm going to give you in return an item you can't take. Okay, we're back in the... We're almost back in the positive. Not quite, actually. Good. So let's find our secret room here uh, to buy items off of him. Apparently, he, he mainly just sells you back what you traded away. So we won't be getting anything super crazy from him. Um... But still, it's, it's worth taking a look. Damn, the enemies are so creative here. Damn it! Oh, that other trinket was real good. Didn't mean to give it up. Right, now we're back in the positive some money. Now we are back in the positives. Took a gamble. I think it was worth it. Oh yeah, it was for the fire rate we just got. Hell yeah, fire rate's so much better now. Just good for more money. More status effects in general. Number two is going to be procking quite a lot. I'll be using that whenever I can. Oh, this guy. Okay, all done. Not too bad, not too bad. Did use all of my keys there, which isn't ideal. Ooh, big old charger there. Gun Jew. Crystal Shard. Uh, use, using two, uh, using runes will spawn one to two rune shards. Oh, that's a trinket, I see. I don't really care about that. Kind of an interesting idea, though. Holy shit, these guys are getting quick. Oh my god. Oh, magic eight ball. Yeah, you can have that. Mother's love. I really like mother's love. It can be really, really good. Little annoying that we got rid of um, thingy baby. Also, yeah, look. These work for us too, which is really cool. Little annoying that we got rid of... Um, What's it called? Uh, Headless Baby, because that would have been more stats. But the stats that it gives you overall are really, really good. One of these guys is one of these uh, love champions that heals everything. Causing us problems. Okay, we are good on that front. Burger Bombs is paying dividends. I'm liking it. Nowhere to get across there, sadly. I really like this idea of the enemies that, like, switch. So many more pennies as well. Money is just flooding in right now. Also, I think our Mystery Sack would have counted for Mother's Love too. So we kind of... Got everything the wrong way around there. If we'd have got Mother's Love first, that would have been a lot better. Just checking for potential secret room locations. I'm not sure if we already checked this or not. We did. Good. Check here. There you go. So you might sell back to us what we've traded away. Okay, no. You don't. Actually, you took two, two of the items you do. Um, so for this, we could get extra damage. I think for now, we'll obviously just dip out of the room. 
um, and we'll come back and see if we can afford anything from there later. I mean, obviously we can. We, we can afford with the the um, the debt system. We could just buy whatever we want. But I'm also mean if we can actually. Oh god, that shot like changes direction to follow you. That's kind of cool. Interesting room design there. Ow. Oh shit, I see what's going on now. There's like tears coming from all over the all over the shop. Oh, this is the this is the one where it transformed everything in the room slowly but surely into a big old mess. <laughs> I kind of love it. It's very scary at the same time. Dude, sometimes it turns him to Midas Touch Gold and it's like, no, you don't get anything for that. Right, quickly go back. Yeah. What a cool room. God damn, why'd I have to open it at this side? Uh, right, so I think... Oh, you bastard. My plans have been foiled. I should have just bought everything with the debt, shouldn't I? I completely forgot you only get one chance to buy from that guy. Completely forgot. So that's a bit of a waste on that front. I was hoping to buy that little Sinner's Page thing, whatever it's called, with the 1.4 extra damage. That would have been quite nice. Now this, for one, great music. For two, I think I'm just going to skip, because I like the reward, but that boss I do not understand well enough to feel comfortable in fighting. Even though it's a really cool boss... The skip card obviously skipping the item that we get as well, which is a shame. But yeah, I just I, I really was not confident in my abilities to get through that. Okay, and basically my my sort of feelings there was, okay, let's use our active item. If I get a penny from it, then we'll risk it. We'll we'll, we'll just play it through. If not, ain't nowhere. And the game said ain't nowhere. The game told me, do not attempt this. Okay, there is creep on the floor there. That... Okay, the streak is dead. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, that was, that was terrible. That was a really bad death. Um, I'll be honest, main reason that death occurred... I was kind of panicking a little bit because of the fires. I, 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 don't, I don't even remember if there was a purple fire in there. But either way, I was like, in my mind, I was like, oh, I need to bomb these fires to get some good stuff out of them. I think there was a red fire in there too. So I was slightly panicking about that. Completely forgot that the, the, that enemy left creep. And then more so, forgot that it left creep when it died. And so just bit the dirt. So that's a really unfortunate loss to our streak. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.